हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट एंड प्रिपेयरिंग वेल फॉर योर के सी टी एग्जाम सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल बी लुकिंग एट द मोस्ट रिपीटेड क्वेश्चन दैट हैज कम फ्रॉम डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन चैप्टर द क्वेश्चन इज बेस्ड ऑन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डिग्री एंड ऑर्डर ऑफ अ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सो क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर कॉन्सेप्ट हैज कम इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन एटीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री एज वेल सो देर इज अ वेरी हाई चांस that question on this concept can come in the year 2024 so first we'll be doing a quick concept recap and then we'll start solving the questions okay so let's start today's session okay so you have already learned this in your pu uh, in your while preparing for your board exams order and degree let's quickly recap so order so when you have got a differential equation the highest differential the highest differential appearing in differential equation is the order of the differential equation so if you have a term like this d square y by dx square so the highest differential is 2 so the order will be 2 next thing if the general equation is given to you it is always equal to the number of independent arbitrary constants in the equation of family of curves if you have a family of curves say if you have a family of circles x square plus y square equal to r square so here the constant is r square you have got only one constant that means the order will be one automatically so that is also one way of finding the order of a differential equation next coming to degree degree is the highest power highest power of highest differential after converting after converting the differential equation to polynomial form so a differential equation is given to you convert it in polynomial form and remove the fractional powers if there are any okay once it is a polynomial in polynomial form then you have to find the highest power of highest differential okay in this case the highest differential if it was d square y by dx square the power of this is 1 so the degree will be 1 so we will look at questions you will get more better idea okay so this particular question was asked in 2016 okay find the order and degree of the differential equation order first let's do the order order so this particular term is dy by dx the order is 1 and this particular term is again dy by dx it is order 1 this particular term t square y by dx square double so the order is 2 not double it is second derivative so the order is 2 next coming to degree so it is a fractional power i need to convert it to a polynomial so i will take four, fourth power on both the sides then i'll get dy by dx whole square plus sin dy by dx whole cube d square y by dx square okay now tell me is this differential equation a polynomial equation polynom in polynomial form no because you have got this kind of term no, term right sin of dy by dx so this is not in polynomial form right so degree is not defined degree is not defined in this case not defined in this case so not defined so the correct answer is option d i hope you got an idea we we'll look at more questions okay the degree of the differential equation so first we'll find the order as you can see here i have got a second derivative d square y by dx square so the order is 2 degree first i have to check whether the given differential equation is a in polynomial form yes it is in polynomial form there are no fractional powers so what is the highest power of highest order differential differential so as you can see the power is 1 so the degree is 1 so the answer is option a moving on okay this question was asked in 2018 they are asking us the degree and order so order is very simple as you can see you have got a second order differential so the order is to differential degree degrees we have to convert this in polynomial form so first thing that we have to do is uh, we have to remove this fractional power okay so let's do that t square y 
pi dx square is equal to cube root of 1 plus dy by dx whole square. Okay. So, this cube root can be removed by cubing on both the sides. Let us quickly do that. On cubing, I can get rid of that. Now, what is the highest power of highest order differential? As you can see, highest order differential is d square y by dx square and the power is 3. So, the degree is 3. So, the correct answer is option A. I hope you are getting the idea. Moving on. Okay. I would like you to solve this question. Okay. So, I will just simplify this a little bit. y1, 2 by 3, y2. So, this is nothing but 1 plus dy by dx whole square. 2 by 3 d square y by dx square. I would suggest you to pause the video here and try to solve this question on your own. Okay. So, they are asking the sum of the degree and order. So, order is very easy. So, you have got a second order differential. So, it is 2 degree. Before that, I have to convert this in polynomial form. It is in fractional powers. So, I will cube on both the sides. I will get dy by dx cubing on both the sides I will get. Okay. What is the highest power of highest order differential? The highest power is 3. So, the degree is 3. O plus D is 5. So, the correct answer is option B. So, this is how you do. So, this was asked in 2022. Moving on. Yeah, this is again an easy question. Okay, let, let us solve this. The degree of the differential equation. Okay. First, let us find the order. Which is the highest order uh, differential here? It is d square y by dx square, right? So, it is 2. Now, coming to degree. So, this is in fractional powers. I have to convert this to, what do you say? Uh, the In polynomial form. So, I have to take cubing on both the sides. I will get dy by dx whole square, d square y by dx square whole square whole to the power of 3 and I will get d square y by dx square plus 1. On expanding this, this term will get the power of 6, right? Okay, 3 times of 2. So, the degree will be 6. So, the correct answer is option B. I hope everyone understood this. Moving on. Yeah, this is a different type of question. The order of the differential equation. Okay. So, you have got this equation. Why? So, I have told you one more point, right? You can count the number of constants and tell the order. In this case, the number of constants are C1, C2, C3 and C4. So, is the order equal to 4? Okay. So, this is not the right approach. So, we have to try to reduce the reduce the given equation. So, here y is equal to c1 e power c2 plus x, c3 e power c4 plus x. Let us see if I can reduce this. c1 e power c2 plus x can be written as e power c2 e power x plus c3 e power c4 e power x. Okay. This entire thing is nothing but a constant that can be called a. This is e power x. This entire thing can be called as one another constant b e power x. Okay, Again, I can take e power x common from here. I will get a plus b. a plus b is some other constant. Let me call that as d. So, now if I look at this equation, tell me how many constants are there. There is only one constant, right? Number of constants, number of constants is equal to 1. So, the order order of the differential equation becomes 1. So, this is how you approach. You just do not just directly count the number of constants. Try to reduce it and then come up with a number. Okay. Moving on. Yeah. This is a question I would like you to try. First, uh, do not first try to reduce this particular equation and then tell me how many constants are there in this particular equation. That will be the order of the differential equation. Yes, give it a try. Yes, and you can tell me the correct answer in the comment section. 
so i have yeah that is the end of this video you can check out my other videos as well where we have discussed the repeated question from vectors chapter from integrals chapter from definite integrals so that will be a good practice for you as well yes if this video was helpful to you please press the like button so that it reaches more people so more students get benefited from this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my new videos okay thank you